Hello and welcome to the tutorial on comparing numbers. And in this tutorial we're going to do numbers up to 50. But we're not going to use the number grid. Now the first stage is let's just write down the symbols that we use when comparing numbers. Let's write it on the right hand side here. We've got this symbol which means less than, we've got equals, and we've got greater than. So let's have a look at our first example. Let's suppose we've got these two numbers. We've got 46 and we've got 38. So we've got 46 and 38. So which symbol goes between them? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to work with work through tens and units. They've only got two digits. Now let's have a look at number 46. The 6 is a unit. So let's put the U at the top. And the 4 is a 10. For number 38, the 8 is a unit. And the 3 is a 10. Now the key to doing this is, the first thing you should do is always look at the digit on the left. In this case, it's this one here. It's a 4. So there are four tens in 46. The other number, there are three tens in 38. So we're comparing the tens, the four and the three. Because four is larger than three, they're not the same numbers, we don't even have to look at the units. The units here, six and the eight, can be any number it would not make any difference. The four is the four tens are greater than three tens. So the symbol we put here is because four tens is greater than three tens. And as I said, we don't have to worry about the units. Forty six is greater than thirty eight. Now let's just uh, look at the next example and we'll get a bit more practice in. Now let's suppose we have these two numbers. We've got 24 and we've got 47. So 24 and 47. What I want you to do is to label them again with tens and units. So the number 24, the 4 is a unit and the 2 is a 10. As for number 47, the 7 is a unit and the 4 is a 10. So now what we're going to do is, the first thing, as we said before, we're going to compare the tens. We always start on the left hand side. So we've got two tens here and we've got four tens here. Now this is very simple. 2 is less than 4. Because these two digits are not the same, if they were the same, then we look at the units. If they're not the same, we can work out the answer without looking at the units. So 2 is less than 4. So which symbol do you think goes in between here? It's this one here. 24 is less than 47. 24 is less than 47. And in both of these examples, we can check that it is pointing to the smaller number. It's pointing to the smaller number. Now we're going to work through one more example because what we want to do is we want to look at one more example in which the tens are the same. So let's have a look at this. So suppose we have this number. We've got 
34 and we've got number 37 so we've got 34 and 37 we're going to compare the numbers which is larger and which is smaller so we we'll use the same method we've been using let's write down the units so the 4 is a unit the 3 is a 10 as for number 37 the 7 is a unit and the 3 is a 10 now the same way we did before let's compare firstly the tens well in 34 there are three tens in 37 there are also three tens now in this scenario the tens are the same if they are the same then we can then we have to look at the units to find out which of the numbers is smaller and which is larger so we don't have to look at the whole number we can now just concentrate on the units so this time round we've got 4 and we've got 7 what we can do is we can just uh, let's just change the color so we can so we got 4 here and we've got 7 here so which number is larger is it 4 or is it 7 well we know that 7 is larger so which arrow goes in between it's oh, let me just number 4 is smaller 4 is smaller than 7 so we can actually rewrite this because we use quite a lot of color we can say 34 is less than 37 34 is less than 37 so when the tens are the same then we look at the units firstly look at the tens see which is larger which is smaller if the tens are different numbers as we had with 46 and 38 and also we had with 24 and 47 the tens are different you can work it out without looking at the units but if the tens are the same as in example C where we had 34 and 37 then you have to look at the units to work out which is larger and which is smaller so that is how we compare numbers up to 50 using the tens and the units.